Hey guys, so we're looking at the beautiful Pine Tab 2 again. I really love the build quality on this one. As you can see, it has nice metal backing here. Uh, it is a nice build quality, but of course, as everyone knows, this is not a general consumer device. It is something that Linux developers for ARM may have an interest in checking out. It's also something that, you know, someone who really wants to learn Linux, you know, you will go through some things to, you know, get things working once in a while. And because of that, you know, it could be a great teaching device in that way because it forces you to learn things about the Linux operating system that you otherwise wouldn't be forced to learn. And the easiest way to learn about Linux is to force yourself to learn it. So another tip I have for people new to Linux who want to learn the command line, Try to perform all of the operations you can using the command line. Avoid pointing and clicking, dragging and dropping, and instead use the command line. Look into how to find the command that is for your needs. You can even use the Apropos command to find commands that are similar to a topic of your interest. Uh, so you can definitely learn it and use the man command to read the manuals. So if you force yourself, and this is really like how I learned Linux mostly, uh, because when I started using Linux, there was no, you know, ready-made Wi-Fi drivers. You had to buy a special Wi-Fi card, uh, not a Win modem, uh, and there's there's many different things. And usually, I would learn the most when I broke something. So when I broke X Windows, when I broke my X. Uh, server, that was when I learned the most because I was forced to do everything with command line. Um, so if you want to learn about Linux, try and force yourself to do everything possible using the command line. And I guarantee you will learn Linux faster than any other option out there, including classes. So just making yourself use the command line more, that's going to be a tip. But let's get back to the point of this video, which is getting the Wi-Fi card working. So you simply, first step one, unhash the lines here for the testing repository. And uh, it does have some warnings, so make sure it says they may end up breaking your device. Just keep these things in mind. Um, this will allow you to get the firmware for the Wi-Fi card, and then after you simply delete the hash marks in front of these two lines, then run the upgrade command. And after you run the upgrade command, you can do mod probe BES 2600. Uh, fitting name and so we have the Wi-Fi working now and that's all you have to do simply to rehash delete the hash marks in slash etc slash pacman.conf file that's the file I have open delete the hash marks in front of the testing repository to allow it to be enabled then run the upgrade command and finally Run mod probe BES 2600 and you will have working Wi Fi as long as all goes to according to plan. So I've only used this and tested the Wi Fi out for maybe 30 minutes. In fact, I didn't actually have a micro uh, USB C cable, uh, so I haven't been able to use my Pine Tab in a while because I misplaced the one I was using for internet. And so I ordered one of those. Uh, USB-C cables and I was able to connect my Ethernet to that and then uh, finally get this Wi-Fi card working. So that's why I haven't been able to use the Pine Tab lately, but hopefully with Wi-Fi working, I'll have more chances to try it out and do some more videos on it. So that's how you do it. That's how you get Wi-Fi working on the Pine Tab. And remember, this is a testing firmware, so it's not in a refined condition that's going to be uh, known as super stable. But I do want to also give credit to where this information was found over on this Mastodon post. So you can see this this individual has actually recited exactly what I talk about in this video. So this is the source of the information uh, where I found it uh, is on this Mastodon account. So that's how you do it, guys. That's how you get it working. And I tested it out with ping. So I just simply ran some ping commands uh, just to make sure all was good before making this video. Um, and I'll let you guys know about the stability and what I experienced. So expect a future blog post on that and I'll also paste the commands into the blog post for this video. So make sure to follow the blog over at bmc.link slash politictech and it's free to follow over there but you can always buy me a coffee if you want to. Love that and appreciate that but you absolutely don't have to despite the domain name. 
Uh, it's a blog for everyone, and I do try to make everything possible public. Sometimes posts will be sensitive and maybe won't be public for a time period, but I just revealed one post that was from back in October just a few hours ago. So I do make them public eventually when I feel comfortable doing so. Sometimes they have more internal private thoughts, and I don't necessarily want that scraped. Uh, and reused however it may be reused. Uh, so, yeah, that's what I got today, guys. Make sure to follow the blog at bmc.link slash politictech if you want to support. There's options over there to support the channel. And uh, check out my blog on I2P as well, right to privacy.i2p if you have an I2P browser setup. And if you don't, check out my earlier videos on how to get I2P browser setup. Thanks, guys, for watching. Make sure to share the video and help people understand how to get Wi Fi working so we can get the Pine Tab community together and grow the Pine Tab community because Linux tablets are just cool and fun. So, guys, that's what I got. Make sure to like, share, subscribe, leave a comment. Let me know what you think, if you had trouble, um, or if you want to know about the stability. I'll let you know. Just leave a comment and I look forward to speaking with you guys and reading what you have to say about the video. And I'll be back later with more on the Pine Tab, Linux, and open source.